Hi, this is Judy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We're working on day 17 of Chrissy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches, round 15. And this sketch is by Sarah Davies. And it's full of circles. All lots of circles, an arrow, some strips of paper, one photo, and a couple of tabs at the top. I'm not sure what these little things are. Maybe just hole reinforcers. <laughs> That's what they look like, don't they? I don't know, but they are just something you can add to your layout. Okay, so what I did was I brought out some photos, and actually I'm doing a zoo layout th this time. So this is a little choo-choo train that we went on for uh, a ride when we took our grandson to the zoo, and he wanted to ride it and ride it and ride it and ride it. <laughs> he loved it. So we're going to put that in his scrapbook, and I took out some of the papers that I had that I thought would go with this. It has blue in the sky, the green, uh, the choo-choo train paper. Of course, I didn't have a choice on what colors that is. So I just incorporated yellow, green, the aqua, then this blue, which goes with the sky and the green. And then I got some black for the strips just to ground it. And I will probably mat the photos. I'm not sure yet what color, but definitely one will be black. And I thought I would do some splattering or maybe a general stamp, like a splatter stamp or something on the background. Uh, I think some leaves would be really good. So maybe I'll see if I have a leaf stamp that would look good, just kind of flowing in from the top. And these were all cut out with thin cuts, all different sizes of circles that I had. I just did random whatever sizes would fit on the paper, scrap of paper that I had, okay? So it's a good way to use them up. I love this. It's going in a diagonal design. The photos are going to be over here. And, of course, I have two. She only had one, but that's okay. You can, you know, make it work for what you have, right? That's the whole idea behind these sketches. Okay, I layered up a bunch of flags behind here. Oops. That's, you know, kind of piece it to how I liked it on the front. And I have a new punch from Stampin' Up. I thought I'd use this as the little tabs. I also have decided I'm going to go around the circles with my black journaling pen. I liked how that looked in a previous video, and I think it will add a lot of interest to these as well. Even though there is stitching on some of these, I think the, the black journaling pen really gives it some distinction. So I'm going to go ahead and do all those. All right, this is one of the stamp sets that I found, and I like this little branch here. And then I also have this one here that's nice. I remembered I had a stamp set with a train, so I brought that out. And then I remembered I already had some that were stamped and die cut in my little embellishment bins here. So I'm going to get one of these out. And we'll, it's on really thick cardstock too. So I'm going to color this. Even though I have a bunch of embellishments, I think there was only three of them, yeah. So I'll get those colored. And I'll do some stamping of these. I think both of them would be okay. This one will be for the background, and this one will be in the foreground because it has the more detail to it. This is just like a shadow. So this will be done in a light and a darker color. So let me get some ink and some blocks. And I also brought in this stamp set. It's a Sizzix one from 49 and Market. It's a new col collaboration that they have and it has this really cool like paint splatters. So I thought I'd use that too for the splatters I was talking about. So the darker color is going to be the solid image. I'm using Jade from Close to My Heart. And I'm going to turn my Versamat over. All right, I turned it over because it has a cushion on this side, a very firm cushion. 
and if this doesn't come out good, I can always flip it over because it's white card stuff. So I'm going to do a first generation and a second generation. And then another first and a second. Maybe we'll do one. I'm going to get some scrap paper for here. Let's use the back side of all the sketches. <laughs> okay, that looks really good. All right, so this one's done. And now we're going to do the one with the detail. Let me clean this. And for this stamped image, I'm going to use Limeade. I don't know if it'll show up very much, but that's okay. It's just the color that I want for this one. Okay. So now we're gonna do the ink splotches. Let me clean this. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on the block. And we're going to use the Limeade again. I'm just double checking to make sure I've got it on the right one. And we can also do some second generation. Let's do one there, one here. Okay, I just needed something a little softer there, I thought. So, because that's a lighter color, I can now go to a darker color without worrying about muddying up my ink pad or anything. Now I'm going to go down here at the bottom. I don't know how much is going to show down here, but I want to have a little bit of interest. And I think I will bring in some of the limeade as well. So I'll rub this off just to make sure it's not a lot of the darker ink on there because that would muddy up my lighter color ink pad. So that looks good, actually, I got to do <laughs> just a little bit more, right? Just a little bit. Okay. That turned out very nice. I'm very pleased. All right, so I'm going to clean this off, and I'll be right back. Right, I'm going to take and color this choo-choo train. Let me put some scrap paper down just in case it bleeds. I don't think it's going to bleed through. This is really, really thick cardstock. And I'm just going to color the whole thing red, except for the inside of the windows. I might have to do a gray on that. Maybe add some gray to the tires and things like that now that I look at it. So I'm going to go over it with the lightest color first. And this is a brush marker. So it has this brush tip rather than that fine pointy tip that the regular ones have. It was on my desk, so that's why I'm using it. Oh, and these are the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Markers. They're fabulous. There's three colors in one, a light, medium, and dark. Um, close to my heart carried them, but of course they're closed now, so if you want something like this, you can find them online. I know Stampin' Up! has their own line of Stampin' Blends. I have not 
invested in them yet. I will when these are dried up so that I can have matching colors. But I really like having the three colors in one marker. So that's, I'm going to miss it. All right. Now, if I want to do a little shading, why not? So you're going to take your medium color and I go around the outside where it might be a little bit darker. And you can guesstimate where that is. And then I'm going to take the really dark and maybe go just around the bottom here. And then I'll go back over it with the light and it blends it all together. Now I know some people will start with the dark and then go to the light. I like to have my paper saturated with the ink uh, so that when I go back over it, it blends nicer because it soaks into the paper quick. Like this is probably already dried, so we'll see if it'll blend. But if you wait too long and it dries, it just doesn't blend. That's the way it, the way things are. There's just nothing you can do about that. But if you do it quick enough, well, it's still all wet and absorbing into the paper, you can usually get a good blend. So that's why I do the light, medium, dark, and then back to light again. So that did blend really nice. You can see right here where it blended. And it's blending nice here too. So I'm going to say that this paper is really good because normally that would not be the case. That blended really nice. So I will continue on with this and then I will go to the gray. And I'll speed this video up so you don't have to watch me in real time. And if you don't want to see any more of the coloring, then please feel free to skip ahead. I just want to re-show you where the circles were for my reference as well and the embellishments so this is what I punched out of the punch and you fold it in half to go over top of your card or picture or whatever you want to fold it over to and this one I actually punched it out of that train paper so that came out really cute and yeah, I got a sliver under my th thumbnail, so I need to get that out. And I had these stickers, and I thought I'd use that all aboard for my title. It's perfect, and it's blue and yellow, so it's going to be great. And I won't have to do, because there's so much, I don't want to um, do some great big letters or something like that. I'm going to let the background, which I really love, and the circles to tell the story because it's the circles are pretty plain you know other than the choo-choo trains there's not a, a lot of busy busy bright pattern and this with the black um, because the photos I mounted with the white and then the black I'm going to use some of these black icons for those little dots that were sprinkled around in the sketch so the circles uh, here's my little choo-choo train and I might trim this one out. See how it was stamped a little off? I might trim that out. It depends on how it looks once I put it down. And then I found this saying, thank heaven for little boys. And I'm going to put the train right on top of that. So that'll be a little shelf for it so to ground it and give it a track to run on. 
And then I found this chugga chugga, and I think I'll probably cut the flag portion off and put it here. Maybe. <laughs> so this we're going to pull up. And I found this trains, planes, trucks, toys. There's nothing quite like little boys. So I thought that would be tucked in with the photo. I thought it was really cute. I'm thinking it's going to show up good because of the notebook border that it has here at the top. And I also have a little alligator here because we did see an alligator on the right ride. So we're going to put him down here planning to anyway. And then I got a couple other little stickers. I got excited because there's red in the train. I'm going to see if I can pull it around and there's red in the photo. So it'll be my three, um, three points of interest. Okay. And then I got to ride on. And of course I'm not going to, I don't have to use all these. It's just things that I pulled to use that I thought could work. All right, so let's get the circles down now. And we're going to go from biggest to smallest. So the biggest one, it's the blue one, the yellow one. The train is the next biggest. And this train is the biggest. So we have one down here that is plain, that I want plain anyway. This is going to be up under the photos. And then this one will go here. So a lot of this will get covered up. That's okay because it's more busy than anything else. But you'll still be able to read some of the words. So that's a good thing. So that looks pleasing to me. And we'll put this here. Okay. Move it down. We don't want it to cover up the train in the picture. A little choo choo train up here. And then I've got the white one, and I did the black outline on everything. And then this. We could put here, and I'll pull this circle out a little bit more so it tucks in there. And <clears throat> we could put, no, I don't like it there. No, might not work. Okay, it's not gonna work. The chugga chugga is gonna go here. We could put fun right here. The alligator will go down here. And then the black things will be sprinkled. And she also had some arrows pointing to the photos this way. So I might find some arrows to do that. Or an arrow. I have some from that layout I did earlier. If I outline that in black, it might be a contender. It's kind of lost in there. All right, so we'll black outline this and see if it works. All right, I'm going to glue things down and then I'll be back. We'll see, some of the things might not work. This is kind of not, it's just drawing my eye away from it. Oh, we gotta get the title out and see how that looks. I'm getting a little bit better at denying myself the option of just doing what they call to as a embellishment sneeze where I'm putting everything everywhere. Oh, you know what? We could put it right here on the arrow. That would look so cool. And layer it maybe under the choo-choo train. All aboard. That's going to look good. All right, we're going to give that a try. All right, I'll be back. A couple of things. I didn't like all the blue. It was really distracting and made it really busy. Cut out some green circles to see if that color might help. And I think it does. I, I think it calms down the background so it's not quite so distracting. And the choo-choo train also was very distracting. So I pulled it off and I think I like it just like this. And I put the title here. The arrow was also distracting, so we're...
taking away the stuff. I love the little alligator here. He fits out really perfect going with the design of the diagonal. These are a little distracting as well. So I might be tucking them up underneath here like this. Oh, and I cut the arrows down too because they were just too, they were too big. So I might tuck these under here like this. That looks better. And let's see, I did some, got some white circles out of my little circle box here. But I do like having a little, just a little bit of white, having that. It could even go here too for the white. You can see how distracting that blue has gotten to be. I'm going to keep this blue in here. I like that because it gives you the blue from the sky. And this little bit of blue really blends in well. If I had used that color here and on the other circles, I think it would have been better. But I didn't. Because you can see how your eye goes whoop right there. And I think with the branches in the background, the green looks better. All right, everything is glued down. I'm going to pick it up now and I glued it to my verse mat. I'm get my scissors and I'm going to trim it. And this one I had to piece together a circle because that's all I had of the, the green. This one was too small. <laughs> it's going to work because it's going to go under the, the photo like this and you don't see the other edges. All right, so now your photos really pop, right? And I think this helps to distinguish this, okay? These are kind of long. I'm, I'm okay with them. But the choo-choo train, if I did the choo-choo train here, I see, it just, I don't know, it just didn't look good to me. Maybe now without everything else it will. I mean, it was a really good idea. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like it there. Maybe I could do just the big one. Kind of like that. No. Nope. I could have it go this way and then have the choo-choo train off of the picture. I wish it were going the other way, right? I think I would like that better. No, I like it back just this, this way. Maybe I can find other embellishments that will work a little bit better. We'll see. Our alligator can go down now. And I'm going to do a little bit of inking under here to give him a little bit of a shadow actually let me bring in that marker if you use a gray marker it will also give you a shadow and you're just going to go like this and that gives him a little something to stand on perfect i'm going to commit and put this down i'm going to get the black little stickers down and I think these will help to ground some of the things all right that's my journaling I like that there. So this is done. I'm good with it. I do my journaling. I'll put close-ups on and I hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day. Just kidding. <laughs> and back on, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. While I was getting ready to take photos, I did my journaling and I put my numbers down here for the year. I'm going, something's just not right. And well, I hadn't done my black lines around my circles that I added. And that just finished it off so nice. And then I didn't do it on the flag. So I did that and they looked so much better. I, I'm so much happier with it now. It just wasn't like one of my favorites, but now it's really nice. All right, now you can ha go have a good day. Okay, bye-bye.